Yo, what up? This is a video on how to identify what's inside your booster pack. If you're new to collecting, you might open up your first pack, see some shiny stuff, and wonder, did I do good? Because back in the day, it was much simpler to sum up whether or not your pack opening was a success. It pretty much just came down to, did I get a hollow? If so, yay. If not, boo. And that was it. But now, there's so many different types of cards and rarities that it could be confusing determining whether or not you got anything valuable in your pack, because not all shiny cardboard is created equal. So let's start with the basic rarity symbols on the bottom of the card before we get into the crazy stuff. The rarity of the card, also known as the pull ratio, is found on the bottom left of the card. Each one is marked by a small symbol. Common is a circle, uncommon is a diamond, and rare is a star. Each pack has one guaranteed rare slot, but this rare card can come in many forms or many tiers of rarity. So each pack will have one guaranteed rare, three uncommon, the rest common and energy cards do not have a rarity. Each pack is also guaranteed to include one reverse hollow card. That means that the entire card is hollow foil except for the picture of the Pokemon. Every card comes in a standard normal form and a reverse hollow form. So the reverse hollow isn't anything special or valuable or rare just because it's a shiny thing. It will have the same rarity as its normal version. For example, if you get a reverse hollow Rattata, this is just a reverse hollow of a common Common card. It's still a common card even though it's technically hollow and shiny. But if you get a reverse hollow Snorlax, this is the reverse hollow of a rare card. So in this case, your pack that has a guaranteed rare now has a two rares in it which is a little something extra it's like a little bonus like hey i got two rare cards in one pack but it's still not worth screaming about you're guaranteed to get them anyway getting a rare reverse hollow is better than common reverse hollow but it's nothing crazy this that's just garbage so don't let anyone fool you so let's get to the good stuff the guaranteed rare slot in every pack this is where the big hitters can come or not come our worst case scenario is your guaranteed rare is a non-hollow rare. This is just a plain old card labeled with the star rarity. Sure, it's a rare, but it's nothing shiny. Better case scenario is your rare is a hollow rare. That means that everything is plain except for the background image of the Pokemon, which will have a sparkly hollow foil effect. This was all there was to strive for back in the day. This was the best of the best. You get the hollow, you win. Like the holographic Charizard, the holographic Blastoise. There's nothing better than the hollow. That's the most valuable. But now, in modern times of modern cards, the hollow is really nothing special. Here's where we get into the spicy new territory. The next tier up from rare and hollow rare is ultra rare. These are marked with a silver star instead of the normal black star symbol. These are immediately easy to spot because the whole card is usually hollow with a giant art of the Pokemon that covers the whole thing instead of being contained to its normal tiny little square. They decided to give these the most obnoxious names ever that vary depending on the set. Things that really roll off the tongue like EX, GX, V, V Max, GX Tag Team. It's super annoying like an algebra problem that makes everything more complicated than it needs to be. But let's press on. An ultra rare card can also be a full art trainer, which are really nice cards. These are pretty self-explanatory. They're the normal trainer cards, which are usually considered to be pretty boring because you usually want the cards of the cool Pokemon. But now there are full art versions of the trainers of the human characters, which have become some of the most sought after valuable cards in the set. Some even more valuable than the Pokemon themselves, like the waifu cards, for example. Some cards like Lily or Skyla have become really valuable or some with with beloved characters like Jesse and James, for example, or Red's Pikachu. So while trainers used to be considered pretty lame and boring and nobody really liked them, the full art trainers are definitely something to get hype over. So as for the ultra rares of the Pokemon in the newer sets, let's take Vivid Voltage, for example. Our ultra rares can be labeled as V or V Max. So here's a Pikachu V, and here's a Pikachu V Max for comparison. While they're both given the ultra rare symbol, the V cards, great name, are usually a little less valuable than the V Max, and you can kind of just tell by looking at the card already. The V cards are a little bit flatter looking, where V Max looks a little bit more detailed and textured. So a Pikachu V would be considered a little less valuable than a Pikachu V Max but still both considered pretty good hits for the pack compared to non-hollow or non-hollow rare. 
Secret rares have the silver star rarity symbol, but they have a set number that goes beyond the number of cards in that set. So on the bottom left of the card, you'll see what number your card is of that set. So for example, there are 185 cards in Vivid Voltage, and G Max Pikachu is number 44, card number 44 out of the 185 of that set. Rainbow Rare Pikachu is a secret rare because it is number 188 out of 185. So since it is a card number that goes beyond the number of cards in that set. Shh, it's a secret. Secret rare cards usually look totally unique compared to the other types of cards in the set. So the Pikachu we just talked about, the Rainbow Chew, that's me, is considered a rainbow rare card. That is an ultra rare card, but the entire card is an all rainbow color scheme. Another valuable example of this is the rainbow rare Charizard from Burning Shadows. Ooh. Or back to the waifu cards, we have rainbow rare Marnie. We also have the really nice golden sparkly secret rares. Some examples are the shiny gold obstacle from Vivid Voltage, or the golden items like the parasol or the disgusting can of dog food from My Champion's Trash, I mean Champion's Path. And since we're on the topic of Vivid Voltage, they introduced a new rarity type called Amazing Rare. These Amazing Rares are a unique new type of card that are definitely beautiful and sought after. These are labeled with a really cool symbol that has a little rainbow circle with an A. While these aren't the typical full art cards that you would think would be like the most rare ones that cover the entire card, they still have a very unique bright rainbow glittery effect that extends a little bit out the window, so they are special. Vivid Voltage contains six amazing rares, which are really awesome, like Rayquaza and Celebi. And Shining Fates will also continue this trend of having some new amazing rares like Reshiram and Evoltal, which are the same kind of style. So hopefully now you have a better understanding of the different tiers of rarities beyond just the typical hollow versus non-hollow, because there's just so much more now. And next time you open a pack, you can proudly tell the internet, I did good, or this pack sucked. So hopefully you enjoyed this lovely educational video and if you did please consider liking and subscribing to this uh, channel that will have many more uh, valuable information for your everyday lives okay bye thank you